Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's Thursday and we still don't have a president. So if you live in the US, I feel your struggle. Um, yeah, I've just been like kind of glued to my phone, but at this point I can't believe that we still haven't got all of the ballots in and we still don't know. I don't think it's ever taken this long to find out who the president is. But anyways, I've got my coffee and I've got lipstick all over it because I actually did a full face of makeup this morning, which I haven't done in forever. So it felt really good to put makeup on. And I literally just did this so that I could take a selfie because I wanted to update my YouTube profile picture because it's literally been the same since the summer. So I did, you know, nice full face of makeup, took a cute selfie, updated my profile picture on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. I started the process for folding all of this inventory. I am still working on it. We still have boxes and boxes to go through. Also, I am going to unfold this because I have to show you guys the new Sun Bunny graphic t-shirt. So this one is the cutest yet, and this is the Sun Bunny collegiate style graphic t-shirt. So if you guys want to support my business, this is the best way to do it. Get yourself a Sun Bunny t-shirt or obviously anything from the website. You're still supporting me. But if you actually want to rep Sun Bunny, these t-shirts are so cute. They come in small medium large and extra large and they're just comfy 100% cotton t-shirts perfect to lounge around in I kept a large for myself just because I wanted it to be a nice oversized fit but these are so so cute and they will be available this Friday okay I got all of that tagged and put away and now I am about to go through and take these skirts out of the package guys these skirts are so cute my favorite part is that they're double lined so they're pretty thick I feel like that's really nice you could wear them with some leggings if you live somewhere that's cold or even just without, it's nice because it kind of smooths out your skin. And they have these little pockets. They are fake pockets, but I just think it's such a cute little detail. You usually don't see that on slit skirts like this. I also want to show you guys these new flannels that are dropping on Friday as well. I have it in a black color and a red color. These are so soft and comfortable. They're like a thick material and they're an oversized fit absolutely love. I wore this one in one of my recent Instagram posts with biker shorts and like a black tank top and it's just such a cute look. So be sure to check these out. I know they're gonna go really fast. The flannels always do. Okay it's a little bit later now and Chad and I decided to go and get some day drinks and get some apps at a local brew house that's around where we live because Chad went and did promotional testing this morning at the fire station so He's been like studying nonstop for days, so we thought we would just celebrate. He finally took his test, and now we get to go have some day drinks. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh, we just ordered this giant pretzel with beer cheese. It's way bigger than I was expecting. Hello guys, it is the next day now. I didn't vlog anything after we left the restaurant because I got really sick. Not from being at the brewery, I don't think, because we both ate the same thing, but my stomach, after I drank my drink, just like did not agree with something. And I just started feeling really sick. Like my stomach was turning, I was super nauseous. So we left, we came home, and I pretty much laid in bed with a heating pad for like the rest of the night. Um, wasn't a good time but I am feeling much better today. And I have spent the entire morning, it's actually almost one o'clock now, packing orders. And I'm so proud of myself because I started right at 10 o'clock AM and I've just been packing orders nonstop. And I've also been wearing my waist trainer because I just decided I wanted to wear it in the morning today, like while I'm moving around packing orders and stuff because that way I don't have to wear it this evening. I am making a ice matcha latte and I am very excited. Adding some oat milk, matcha, more oat milk. Well, this is delicious. I swear, this tastes exactly like the one from Starbucks. Actually, I think it's better. And if anyone cares, it's the Jade Leaf brand. I think that's what it's called. Okay, I just finished packing up orders. This is all I'm gonna get through today, which is actually the vast majority. So I am proud of myself. Gonna take these to the post office and then we're gonna go to the gym. So I dropped off the packages and I'm now about to go into the gym. Just put my AirPods in. And I have to tell you guys, these are so much insanely better than the normal AirPods. Like. I do not regret upgrading at all. It was expensive, but it was so worth it because these are so amazing. I just love them so much. I love the noise canceling, but I will say that if you keep it on the normal mode, 
you can't hear anything around you at all. Like when I put these in, it sounds like my car shut off. That's how noise canceling they are. It's crazy, but you can go in and adjust it in your phone settings to make it a little bit less dramatic. I am back home from the gym now and it's 422. I did back and biceps, had a nice little workout. It was about 45 minutes long. I really wanted to film my workout for you guys because I don't think I've shown you what I do on back and biceps day. There was too many people in there for me to comfortably pull my camera out. I'm still a little bit of a baby about that, so I'll only do it if there's like only a few people in there. But here's my stats. So 153 calories, 45 minutes and 29 seconds. Even though it's only 4.30, I am starving, so I'm just gonna have an early dinner. I'm making red lentil pasta with tomato basil sauce, and I'm also going to cook some ground turkey to mix in with the sauce. eating dinner which was absolutely delicious I literally ate so much and now I am about to go sit in a nice hot bath and I'm gonna watch The Bachelorette it was actually aired last night but I never watched it last night so I'm gonna watch it tonight and have some wine and just relax Good morning guys, it is the next day obviously and Chad and I are about to go out for breakfast. I'm so excited, we're gonna go to first watch and I'm gonna get something healthy that I have been craving like crazy. If you've been around for a while, you remember I had this like long lasting obsession with chia seed pudding and I am so excited to order it. My biggest fear is it's not gonna be on the menu anymore because it was so long ago, like pre-pandemic when I was in my little rave of eating chia seed pudding all the time but hopefully they still have it because i am so excited so we finished getting breakfast and it was so good i can't believe i've gone to first watch how many times now and didn't get their chia seed pudding because i just forgot about it and it's honestly so good it's basically like this big bowl of fluffy chia seed pudding with granola and um just like a bunch of fresh cut up fruit and like preserves on top oh my gosh so good and then they give you a side of toast with almond butter but it's very healthy and very good but anyways i am at costco right now chad just pumped the gas for us now we are heading to Target to pick up a couple of things before this storm comes. We're about to get a bunch of rain. We're going to Target and I'm so excited, even though Chad's gonna rush me. Oh, sorry, I have things to do before hurricane comes. <laughs> We are back home and I picked up a couple of little Christmas gifts for Chad's mom. Not like actual Christmas presents, but I typically, her and I both get so excited about the holiday season every year. So I like to get her like a little happy Christmas holiday season gift just like, just because. So I got this cute little bag and then I got her some K-Cups for her Keurig, the holiday blend from Green Mountain. I really wanted to get um, like a smaller pack. They only had these huge ones. And then I got this cute little tree. It's like a plush tree on like a wood stand. So cute. So I got her that. And then I also got her a candle that smells so good. This is like my favorite brand uh, Opal House for candles from Target. They honestly are so good and they burn forever. I wanted to get one for myself, but I told myself not yet. Probably not gonna decorate for Christmas till next weekend. I would literally do it today if Chad would let me, but he's making me wait. And then this laundry sign we got as a birthday gift, belated birthday gift for his grandma because we are having dinner with all of them tonight to celebrate uh, like a late extended family birthday thing. So we got this for her. So I have to wrap that, get all of this together. Um, got my birthday card. And then Chad and I also got a 2021 calendar for our kitchen. But most exciting, I bought a 
capture card so that I can finally start streaming and recording some actual gameplay from some of my Nintendo Switch games um, because you guys have been asking a lot about it and I just didn't have a capture card so I finally decided to just get one kind of impulsive decision but I think it's gonna be really worth it because I'm gonna be a gamer girl now. Not really, but I am gonna start doing a little bit of streaming. Um, probably not live, but so I guess it's not streaming, never mind. Just like recording some gameplay. And then maybe if I feel super confident, I will actually do some streaming. I don't know. I just really can't wait to actually like share gameplay with you guys. I wrapped everything up so beautifully. I'm obsessed with how this looks. So pretty and festive. And then this is his grandma's gift or his mama's. Comment below what you call your grandparents because he grew up calling his mama and papa. I think it's a Southern thing, I guess. And mine has always been like grandma and I didn't ever have a grandfather. So there was no grandpa in the picture, but I always call my grandma, grandma or gramps. And his is mama. So mama and papa, so funny. I'm gonna do a little random unboxing of some PR packages and then like recent purchases and stuff just to spruce up the vlog with some content. First Aid Beauty sent me their Skin Superstars kit and First Aid Beauty is one of my absolute favorite skincare brands. Hands down, if you had to ask me to choose like one skincare brand for the rest of my life, could only use that brand, it would be First Aid Beauty. I love all of their products. Everything I've ever tried is something that I've repurchased. So very excited about this. Uh, it has the Ultra Repair Cream, Facial Radiance Pads. Ooh, an instant oatmeal mask. That is new, haven't tried that. The Face Cleanser, which I use every single day, and then a Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Hmm, interesting. I love the packaging, it's so cute. So thank you First Aid Beauty, probably the most exciting PR list to be on. The next PR package is from Pixie and I love being on their PR list. This is so cute. They sent their vitamin C collection. So it has a vitamin C priming oil, an under eye brightener, a lip brightener, and a brightening perfecter. I'm gonna use this lip brightener right now because I feel like my lips are a little dry. Ooh, that is so cool. Hmm. Feels like a really nice moisturizing lip balm and it also smells kind of good too and then this next one is from Bolaire which is a communications consultancy that somehow I ended up on their PR list and I got this package yesterday and it's just a bunch of clothes I did briefly look through it yesterday but I haven't tried anything on um, so I just thought that was so sweet so thank you so much to them for sending me this it's honestly just like a bunch of clothes from random brands so I got some jeans from blank NYC which is super exciting and these are just really cute high-rise skinny jeans a little bit of distressing in these love these such a pretty like light to medium wash color and then these are so cute also blank NYC and they have like this cheetah print on them which is so cute unlike any jeans that I have at all so I am pretty excited about that and I really like the way the button is like matte black like so cute like this whole box of clothes just showed up at my door and I like reached out to my management because I was very confused <laughs> I'm like what is all of this so I got this really cute top from misguided and I absolutely love this. Just, I'm such a fan of neutrals and everything in this box I think is pretty much neutrals, which is perfect for me. So it's just this button up with like this cream and white color, color block design. So cute. And then I got this really pretty bodysuit from Aster the Label, which is such a cute brand. If you guys have never shopped at Aster the Label, they have like really good quality pieces. So I was like super excited when I saw that they included some of Aster the Label pieces in this package um this is just so cute look at these mesh bell sleeves and this is just like a really pretty bodysuit and it buttons at the bottom which is so important to me i do not like bodysuits that don't button at the bottom it's like do you really want to get completely naked in the restroom okay then i got another bodysuit from misguided in this really pretty brown color and it just says misguided this is just so perfect to wear with like sweats or you know some shorts just when i'm working around the house and stuff and then I got this sweater that I am literally obsessed with, probably my favorite thing out of all of this. Uh, it is a sweater from Astro Label, 
I love the sleeve details. They're like bell sleeves, but then they like cinch at the bottom and the waist also cinches. It's such a beautiful color. It's like a oatmeal color, I guess I would say. And I will link everything that I can find from this package in the description if you guys wanna check any of it out. I'm gonna have to like go on a hunt to find these items to link for you guys. This is so cute from Misguided. Oh my gosh. I love this long sleeve again with the cute sleeve details I love and then this I thought was really pretty but unlike anything I've ever worn before um, and I'm not sure how this will look on me but it's this really pretty like polka dot speckled dress from misguided and it has like this opening right here and this little silver uh, detail that cinches together and then like this open front um, ruffles at the bottom really 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 cute but might be a little too girly for me i don't know we'll see and then also from misguided they sent me these cute joggers like that were made for me because this is so my style like during my work week i like to wear like comfortable casual clothes but that are also cute at the same time like i always try to dress up sweatpants by like wearing a cute denim jacket and a nice handbag with it and like you can do a lot and still be comfortable so these are so cute. They're like that windbreaker material and they have this cool detailing along the sides and in the back. And of course, elastic waistband and tie at the front and then they cinch down here. So just like windbreaker joggers, but the color is really cool. It's almost like a cross between an olive green slash gray, but love those. And last but not least, I got two jackets from Blank NYC and my first ever faux leather jacket was from Blank NYC. I got it from Nordstrom like last year sometime. They sent me this really cute jacket. I'm obsessed with it. It is actually the exact same style as the faux leather jacket I have, like with the buttons and the zippers and just like the details on the sleeves. And I'm just so excited about this. I know it's gonna fit me perfect because I already have one of these. I love this neutral color, the material so pretty i can't wait to wear that and then they also sent me a faux leather jacket that has this cool stuff on it i don't know how i feel about that it's definitely edgy and kind of makes me feel like i'm gonna go ride a harley davidson or something but we'll see maybe i will find a way to style that and channel my inner biker girl. And the last few things are not PR, so I did buy these things with my own money. I just wanna share them with you guys because they're recent purchases that I have sitting here and I need to put away. Zara, I just got two things from Zara. I really only went on there for a pair of leather pants slash leggings. Um, they say that these are leggings, I think, but they're yeah, it says leggings these are not leggings these are definitely like pants um but they fit like a legging like they're really like tight um i absolutely love these they're so cute i wanted these because they're like really in style right now and they zip at the bottom which i think is cool and then also along the side so so cute can't wait to style these actually I actually think the sweater from Aster the Label with these would just be the perfect outfit. The other thing that I got from Zara is this really cute button up cardigan and it is like slightly cropped. It's like a really pretty bluish gray color and it is so soft. Like I wish you guys could just feel this. It is the softest material ever. So glad I found this. I actually love it so much that I went back on there to try and buy it in the other colors. I think they had it in two other colors and it was sold out. Next, I have two new books and I'm so excited for these. I have been like back to reading every single night. Chad and I both have. And the book that I'm currently reading is called The Outsider and it is so good. Like I am really enjoying it. I've actually been reading it a little bit during the daytime too, which isn't like me. I normally only read at night, but I just, it's such a long book. And then I got these books. So I am trying to like speed up the process because I also want to start these books as well. So um, that's what I'm reading now, but these are in the future. I got this book when I was at Target with Chad. I was not going to get a book, but he was buying a book and I found this and I thought it looked really good. It's called It's Always the Husband. Um, it has a really cool backstory or summary when I read it in the store. So I got that. And then I also got this book called After because I heard so many good things about this one. 
So I got this. This is a hefty book. This might be, uh, I might save this one for last. I don't know if I can handle this quite yet. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, I have some new Lululemon to show you guys. So I got this really pretty bra, like specifically just because of the color. I absolutely love this really, really pretty color. Oh my gosh, I feel like my camera is not picking up the color. It is like the prettiest nude ever. It's making it look pink. It's actually like, a tan nude color um it's actually called beechwood on their website but it's the flow y bra long line just love it so much i love the color i feel like this is gonna look so cute with some colored leggings that i recently ordered that have not come in yet but i'm trying to broaden my horizon i feel like my only leggings i own like 10 different pairs of leggings that are all black or gray or black with some kind of a print on them. I rarely ever do color. And so, you know, I'm branching off a little. And then I bought two of the Lululemon Align tanks. These came out a while ago and they were like really, really popular. They were sold out for the longest time. And finally I just decided I'm gonna try them out. I haven't even tried these on yet. They literally just came in today. Um, but these, yeah, there's the Align tank. I got one in black and I got one in white. But that is everything that I have that is new to me in terms of PR and recent purchases. I want to do like a Lululemon video soon because so many of you guys have purchased Lululemon since I have gone on this rampage lately. And I want to share like all my Lululemon favorites. I feel like that'd be a fun video because Lululemon has like its own community of psychotic people who are just obsessed with it like myself. And so maybe that would be a fun video. It is way later now and we are at Chad's parents house sitting on their new couches which are so cozy and we're watching football well chad's watching football i was helping his mom make dinner just making lasagna when i first met chad he lived in this house well he lived in this house his whole life and when i first met him before i met his parents like they were on vacation or something and he brought me to this very house and we studied together on this very in this very spot sorry it was a different couch they just got new couches but in this very spot do you remember that yeah i do when we first met you brought me here and i had no idea that six years later i'd be sitting here still waiting for a ring <laughs>